Okay. Hey y'all, I'm back with Miss Cece, my reality specialist. And we are here with our views on Atlanta Housewives. We gonna touch up on uh, Love and Hip Hop. And uh <laughs> I don't know, and I'll give you some views maybe on some other little topics. But before I begin my show, I want to wish y'all all a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I want to dedicate this show to my late Charles Whitcliffe, and uh, we call him Uncle Poochie. And I will be doing a memory show sometime this week of a lot of memories and things about him that why he was so special in my life and about his kids and grandkids. So stay tuned because I'm going to tell you all a little bit about my Uncle Poochie. Mm -hmm. So I apologize I didn't get a chance. You know, I normally read jail letters and have my Christmas tree up and all that good stuff. But, you know, uh, I was uh, looking after my Uncle Poochie when he uh, fell ill. So, he took front seat, y'all. <laughs> so, I wasn't able to get back to you guys. But before I begin this segment, I'm going to read back some of y'all feedback from the last show that y'all uh, posted. And I appreciate and I tell y'all, please, please keep leaving these messages. And the lady from Just Read My Book, I promise you, this month's food stamps, I'm getting you them Grippo seasoning. So inbox me your address. I probably got it somewhere, but, you know, I be having issues. So with that being said, I'm going to click on the other side. And we're going to read some of y'all comments from last week's show. Okay. The first comment was, why does Sweetie lighten her skin and looks like an ashy black woman? <laughs> Honey, all you had to do was cover them acne spots, not bleach your skin. Love you, Miss Cece, on the show. And Patches, my husband does the same thing. Don't fuck with my food. Is that what yeah, that's what it says. Don't fuck with my food from uh, Miss Randy Ratning. Uh, she also goes on to say, girl, I saw that she bought Sheree at the store, cache uh, in ATL. It was overpriced, and it looked like a hot mess. I it yes, it did, <laughs> she said. <laughs> if the shit was hot, I w if the shit was hot, wouldn't Candy put that stuff in her store? I would think so. Mm-hmm. So Candy apparently, with a she pole. sure didn't. She sure didn't. And then she had nerve enough to talk about Lisa. <laughs> Man. Sheree, Lisa. Lisa's copping out for me. Oh, you okay? I don't see how, honey. Oh, God, yeah, I can't does. take it. Lord, goodness. The other one is uh, from Queen IC. Thank you so much for your love, Patches. You know I love you back. Patches, you are my favorite how you die, girl. Miss Cece is too funny and adorable. Looking forward to her return. How can I obtain your book? I know I am going to, uh, I know it's going to be good for good reading. Okay, sweetheart. I don't have a book, but one of my fans always leaves me messages, and her name is Just Read My Book. So it sounds like I got this book coming out. But, you know, people keep asking about it, so... You know, maybe she started something. Maybe I will write a book. I don't know. I'm barely typing, and if I do, it's going to be all the Ebonics. So, <laughs> I can't smell like I used to. Okay? We got one from Lou We Eve 7. One more thing. I personally feel like Nene was lying a little about the gig with Chirac. My opinion. I love Nene, but she's doing too much lately. Well, sweetheart, you know, we've been going kind of back and forth. I do believe that there's something there. It was something. It may not have been about money, but I do believe it was something. Because she didn't fight as hard as she would anybody else. Because let it be been uh, Kim, she would have been jacked up. Or well, she was talking so, about Nene T. That's why she left. Yeah, but they <laughs> usually don't stop her from doing what she got to do. And it's kind of crazy. Right 
You know, yeah. Plus, too, Nitty probably don't want to mess with Sheree anyway, because Sheree be working out with uh, yeah, Muhammad Ali oh, some damn back. Put my money on Nene. Okay. In the fight. Then the fight. The fight. It'd be a tough little fight. I just know she. I know she right ain't going out without uh, I mean, a good it'd one. It'd be all that now. It'd be a hell of a cat fight. Uh -huh. I'm but I'll be all ears and eyes. I will be watching. <laughs> so go ahead. I bet you won't hit that bitch with a bottle. You should. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> we got my mama calling in. I know she's okay because she's calling. So and look at she's calling again. But we're going to put on hold for a second so I can finish the show. I'm going to try to anyway. So anyway, the next one is, one more thing. I, let me see. No, the next one is, it's from Lou We E 7 Y'all, y'all names. I don't think Sweetie is a man. She looks like, she looks hard and confused. Very. Love you, Miss Patches. Love you, Miss Cece. Love you back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Love you back, baby. She loves you back. All the way live. All the way. Thank so I was just checking my breasts. We had one controversial <laughs> question, uh, Miss Cece, that yes, I'm gonna sorry. ask you before we begin our show. What's that, doll? Um, one of the fans had wrote in, and um. Uh, one of the friends who wrote in, did somebody, we, yeah, let me, get me put back in here, y'all. Anyway, what had happened was, the woman and her husband been married for, for many years, and they got kids together. And, uh, anyhow, he ended up cheating on her. They have, like, three kids together, and he ended up cheating on her. Well, he cheated on her with her sister, and now her sister's pregnant with her husband's baby. Yeah. So she wrote me and wanted to know how I felt about it and what would I do. So everybody sent in some really good, everybody sent in some very good uh, comments about it. And I wanted to get, to get your comment. Mine? Yeah, your no, comment. Okay, my comment is... Get you a divorce and tell him to go on with your sister. And milk him like you would a cow. You hear that? I she said, that. milk him like you would a cow. <laughs> Label. For that mean green lady. <laughs> so, divorce him. Divorce him. Divorce him. Don't worry about the children because you're going to make him take care of them. That's why I tell you to milk him like a cow and tell him to go ahead on with your tutor. Man. And God bless him. God bless him. That's how she because if they don't do right, then somebody else might have to dress. That's right. Because <laughs> I mean, he will not be able to do it on his own no more. Not at all. And you know, and then you have to say, you know, to introduce the kids to one another. This is your sister, or does it be your sister cousin? Yep. Here's your sister cousin, baby. Sister you know. Cousin. That's so right. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but y'all left her. be your niece. Your niece by some by your husband. Yeah, that'd be your your niece yeah. daughter. That'd be your niece daughter in law. And then the kids would be double cousins. And then it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you see how confusing it is? So so you young ladies out there That's messed up. <laughs> yeah. It is. Y'all young ladies out there. Uh, thank y'all so much for sitting in so many comments. Go on my Facebook, check out what everybody was talking about. I said the same thing, but I just said I will leave them both alone. I understand that's your family and you should be able to forgive or whatever. I you forgive, forgive, but, but we won't, won't forget. forget. And I will separate myself from both of them because you know what? I'm I don't have to accept any kind of abuse. Well, I'm not can, gonna accept any kind of abuse. We communicate, but we won't break bread. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> so that's the way it we take it and go ahead on with it. But they will be so poor. When you got through with them, tell they'll be so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Every dollar. Every dollar. Every time you, you know? eat a bowl of beans, because you won't have no meat except for the poor little meat you have in there, and they'll probably be chicken. They'll have wish me sandwiches, <laughs> or y'all smush two pieces of bread together and wish you had some meat. Wish you me had some right. meat. 
wish me that's sandwiches. Right. Wish that's me right. head to me. That's, it. that's all he would have because I would take him straight to the bank for my pain there and suffering and for my kids. And I will move on. I would. I move Alienation on. Alienation or infection. They mm. do what they call it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Stole it. Sue him. <laughs> Take him to Judge Judy. Just stay in the table to Judge Judy. She'll throw the book at him and have him locked up. So, <laughs> so my best advice, lady, you know, leave that man alone. He's not worth it because if he's cheated on you with your sister, no telling if he's through with the family or not. He might work his well, way through a cousin. Well, what about the sister? She, she, I won't deal with her. She didn't even have to go there. She could she have did. said no. So evidently it must have been a little something, something, something there. Yeah, that's why I said leave them both alone. So if y'all want to leave comments and go back and read what everyone said, it was really, really nice because a lot of people helped me, you know, give this young lady an uh, outlook of what she should do because, honey, I would have probably ended up in jail somewhere. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like I said, you know, I'm trying to change my ways. But, Hallelujah. Uh, before we start, we get ready to start talking about these housewives, honey, and we got a map for them. So Lord. I'll be right back at you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> but the girls are. get them together <laughs> we I get ready to cover like two segments out in one show and the last segment we had left off at with uh, Atlanta Housewives thank you Miss CC because we got so many things on so many shows to talk about but honey they was talking about we're going to start with Sherry oh yeah she was trying to take a, she wanted to take her husband to court, but then she started crying about it, saying that, you know, she didn't want to see her husband in jail because uh, she didn't want her kids to have to go through that. But, she just don't care. you know, she. after the day they had that meeting that she threw that drink in his face for saying that, you know what, you know, they look like they living just fine. Yeah. For one, what kind of man is he, for one, to say they look like they're doing just fine and you have a nice house, so therefore they good. They don't need no money from me. I make little money. What kind of a man are you? You are no kind of a man. Because it shouldn't matter what she got. Those are still your kids. You make all dead beat dads look bad. So, and I don't understand what she's about. I don't understand by uh, Sheree. I don't understand at all how she is so upset. About taking this nigga to court. She's still in love. So to me, it's not even really about the, uh, it shouldn't be about the child support. Because if it really is about the child support, honey, she'd be glad to take him to court. It would have you took her what? no four years of him not sending my babies no money. So apparently, it's not about the money. Like you said, she still got some feelings somewhere well, in her. Yeah, her and, and you know, she's trying to build all uh, this, uh, uh, shut on And that takes money. And then, and here you are. And for money. Yeah. And, and then you, you know, I understand how you, you know. A rich bitch. You building she by Sheree. Well, the Chateau by Sheree. Well, excuse me. And you got the library. You got basketball courts, a movie theater, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I just hope you're not in over your head. You know, on this last two segments. New car. You, yeah, she got a new car now. Of course. So, you know, I understand, you know, you and your kids ain't ain't hurting. You are making that very well known. Right. But all uh, your friends said don't drive the post. But talk. all I got to say is, baby girl, I really hope you are not in over your head. If you can get that million dollar house built, get it if you, get it, baby. Get it. I hope it's not a failed dream like your last clothing design. Because I know that know. shit was rang in the burning you know. side crap. You do not have to have a whole chate, shadow, or whatever That's you want to call it. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you need is a little shot hut. You know, get your little hut. You know, right. you know, uh, to have a beautiful home. But if you can pull it out, baby girl, you do that. You do She's that. She's trying to keep up with Kim, the Jones Hill. What the Nene Leaks, yeah. Leaks now? Yeah. The Leaks. Nene Leaks now. Yeah. But uh, they have no house. Yes. Well, Nene's house was remodeled. Nene just remodeled her house. They still build in the same house. Oh. Yeah, they stand the same house. Uh -huh. But Nene nice always house, had so. a, a nice house. So her husband got a little money. Nice. And I understand. And plus that, she still got another house. Yeah, she does. Where she's from. Mm -hmm. It's just sitting there. A lovely home. It's, it's just sitting there. 
while we on the subject of Nene, I, you know, uh, I heard that she was late to the party. The true rumor that I heard that the reason why she was late to Peter's home opening was because uh, her, her son got caught stealing razors. Oh, Lord. You know he ain't broke. <laughs> why would you be stealing razors? I can some razors. So that's the reason why she was late. But uh, she oh, finally did come, and she she finally did come. And honey, when she came and she laid eyes on that man she's supposed to be sleeping with, honey. The story was told when she didn't speak to him. I think she did sleep with him because if she didn't, she would have been like, "How you doing?" And kept on moving. But the way she was like, uh, you know, when sometimes you do all that extra stuff, it kind of tells what you've been doing. I don't believe she slept with him. You don't believe she slept no. with him. I believe that he tried to hit on her and he won her cup of tea. She, he won her cup of tea and Mimi got this mouth about her and she kind of maybe said a few words and he didn't like it. Yeah, that's now, a way to come. But that. maybe that's that is the thing. I, I don't believe uh -huh, she yeah. slept with her. Well, you know, she don't believe she yeah. slept with well, her. I believe she went out on that date, on the date with him and uh -huh. Brian, whoever on the broad one who never was mentioned. But I don't believe they had sex or anything. I believe they just didn't see eye to eye. Well, we wasn't in the bedroom. And I don't blame her. I wasn't the fool with that. We wasn't in the bedroom with her, but she may not have been <laughs> sleeping, sleeping with him, but she sure did not meet to sleeping with Greg again, her husband. Sure and if y'all can get it popping again, baby, my yeah. blessings to you. I hope y'all can get it back together. Yeah. For the and, son's sake, you know, she said it was good. Too. Yeah, for the sex, for nothing yeah. else. Because, ah, honey, I'm out here single, honey, and it is not easy. And so. she's ready to mingle. She's ready to mingle. <laughs> uh uh. Is that why she mingled with that white man? Yeah. Uh uh. The white man talking about a million dollar deal. I mingle with him, my friend. Uh uh. I thought, you know, I don't think the white man is. Really for I her. Think, I, I think he's there for him. Nene's money more than. I like, think so. You know, too. I think he thinks that I she's think gonna be a paid stay. black woman, and I think that's the reason why he's interested in Nene. I'm not saying she can't pull a white man. He bought her purse her. And an you can. He bought your purse shoes because he wants you to. <laughs> because you probably gonna need them shoes to run out of that man's life. Because some about that white man just ain't right. No, I don't feel some ain't right. You know, I'm not trying to hate. Well, first, but something the right. Look, to sign the deal. To sign the deal. Right. And then uh, they get out here on a little turf. It's too set up. He seemed uh, too yeah. fake to and me. And then he brought some, I don't know who he was, laying the same opera to him. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just, you know, it's too she scripted. He said something about him saying opera. She don't know nothing about no damn opera. Man. All the fine yeah. arts. He wasn't Peebo Bryce. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. And she don't do fine art, she said. Not at all. <laughs> so, therefore, hey. we were back at the ranch. Now, I hope she ain't dumb like that. No. I just think she's sort of old. Have fun. Enjoy the yeah. head. I heard I they give so. good head. That's what the, he's at ah. I heard they give good head. So, um, He's Italian, and so I commend you, Nene, for acting like a lady yes, at the yes. party tonight. He sure did. At, um, it's uh, Cynthia's party. Yeah. I commend you because I thought when you seen Kim, it was going to go ugly, but somebody else was already beating you to the punch. Honey. Candy, cold, and candy. Against that girl. <laughs> candy against that girl. Meet y'all. Mina, whoever that lady is. She's a socialite. Yeah, the one who sleeps with all the rich men Big and gets Papa. paid. Yeah, she right said it's not a lot of big <laughs> She She's trying to get her Trump check, too. You hear? She sleeps around with nothing but the biggest dollars. I which the Lord her blessed now. her with the with her goods and blessings right. and stuff. And so that's and how girl she's been game. But if she, look, all yeah. I got to say, if you're a hooker whore, just say you're a hooker whore. Listen, well, guess what? They all listen and learn. She was wearing Versace. She was wearing Versace. And, I but, I, you know, I don't understand why Kim took it so personal because they kept, well, I do, because they saying Big Papa and she had a Big Papa. Right. And, you know, I, I, I kind of understand what she yeah. got upset. But then he, uh, Kim shouldn't have left. Kim no. shouldn't have left. She should have been a tough cookie. Mm -hmm. So her conscience might, you think that's Troy's baby? It might be Big Papa. Oh, I said it. I'm sorry. Yeah, she said she, it. She might, might try to sue me, but she uh, won't get a damn thing. I, ain't got I it, think that's choice. But she, that baby looks just but like she, him. She won't. These tennis shoes I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
not even right. That's not even right, honey. So, oh Every my day goodness. Day on there. That's why she had the baby. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, that's why I know it's Troy. To be that so baby happy. looks just like his daddy, so I do believe that is his baby, and I'm so glad. And well, I'm gonna I tell you something. Is, Everybody always out. got something bad to say about Kim, but Kim, I didn't say nothing bad about I'm not woman. saying you, <laughs> but I said everybody. But Kim, you worked your act. You got your house, honey, yes, and all that furniture that you tricked yes, up out of Big Papa, uh -huh. honey. You furnished it, and it was beautiful, baby, lovely. Beautiful. lovely. So while lovely. she by charade is still doodling on scratch paper about her house, you are yes, already sir. living in yours, baby. Yep. So they can all kiss your wigs, yep, and your ass, and your yep. uh, priceless baby, honey, because you are having big uh. Big ass page swell <coughs> big old babies, them million dollar yeah. babies you have up yeah. out of that kitchen, baby. baby. Because it's a beautiful house and honey. Y'all make a y'all make a beautiful couple and then, you know. Yeah. I, she said she wanted another AJ, another Croy. Keep making this baby. Guess what? He's shit that house is like that. Like a frog. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong. You got a young, you know, I might even try me a young man. I don't know. It don't hurt none. You got your young man that's treating you good and treating your kids good. It does not hurt none. It doesn't hurt none. Not at all. No, uh uh. I got one, hun. <laughs> <laughs> Be honest. I ain't mad at you. You know, we don't. <laughs> we got us a cook in the house, so we no, over here. There's enough no cookies over here. here. But mm -hmm. I don't blame her. I don't blame her whatsoever. I didn't chase him. He chased me. So congratulations again. I want to well, talk to you. On your Talk to you too, sugar. Yes, honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Speaking about, mm-hmm. Here's Miss Phaedra. I oh. got a little some things to talk about Miss Phaedra on the other uh -huh. So her husband, I love you, baby. He ain't said a damn word. He just stood there like a fool. She said, I love you. I'm so glad. And then she said it again. I love you. Uh -uh. Homeboy said nothing. He's trying to work with her, but you can see that there's some problems within the relationship because right. he's already told her once that he can't be fighting outside in the street mm -mm. and coming to his house and fighting. Mm -mm. So he's made that. Made that very clear. So, very. Peter, if he I was you, way. I'd stay clear from Phaedra's husband because he yeah. would jack you up. He would yeah. fuck you up. I and I'm for team uh, Phaedra's husband because I love Phaedra's husband. I think he's a die girl. And he's if he was my man, dog. yes, if he was my man, I'd be doing the same thing, baby. So, congratulations. Well, I love y'all. back to jail. <laughs> no. Don't go back to jail, especially over Peter's well, monkey ass. Peter, okay. Because I can't stand Peter. He's sitting over here on this girl's big day talking about he can't even drop off a letter. Why didn't you question her on whore? You know Why didn't you have the invitations out a week full ass? And here, here, here. Uh, then snapping it. This is white furniture. Watch what you do. You don't put white furniture in no club, you idiot. And then on top of all of that, I don't like your attitude, Peter. You've been on my show once, and I thought you was a sweet guy. But the more and more I keep seeing this lady cry, the more and more you keep saying, you know, yeah, you did it. This is all you. Because you try I to be told like. told you he was a rascal. Yeah. I appreciate that. My feelings are slightly hurt. And when I move up to Atlanta, I will not be coming to your club. Because I don't like to deal with men who don't know how to treat a lady like a lady. Right. Because she stood beside you and helped you with your oh, raggy, hot-ass right. club. You should have stood beside her instead of trying right. to be smart talking about, well, you did it. This is all you. That's why I didn't want to have to help you because this is all he you. He don't want her to succeed. No. He's more. After he said that, he got ghosts. He got up through yeah, on he, her. He when he should have stood mother. there the he whole time. Mother. He should have stayed in the back or whatever else. She didn't do him like that. And she still offered to pay his $42,000 bounce check for that raggedy club that he got in the hood. So I'm trying to tell you a project that he turns to a club. Sheree is a hater, too. Yeah, Sheree is a hater. She hated on Cynthia. She hated on Nene. That's, Nene. that's the reason why I say Nene wasn't trying to get nothing from her. What she got? Nene got her own thing Sheree. going on. She wasn't trying to pull nothing from Sheree because Sheree ain't got nothing. No, they really don't have going anything. No. The only people that got no. anything going on for real to me is uh, Cam and Nene. And those are the ones that have something going on. Candy got it going no, on. No, I see here. I knew you was going candy. to. Oh, I'm going to talk about this here. You look, for one, okay. Candy is a troublemaker. She's two-faced and she meddles in other people's business that don't concern her. What business I, is how this woman got for a month? That, yeah, and that's true. 
But Dylan and the business, the candy gat, I can see where she's kind of asked that. But she candy do starts a lot of little stuff. You kind of love and hate her all at the same time with I candy. Don't care, but I think but you know, uh, man, on damn business. That's what I say. Yeah. I right. think she needs no. to find her roots because she's no. not making no money. She need to get her damn man. And, and she, she won't have time for yeah. nobody else. She Instead should. of working with all these toys. And right. you know, I just, to toys me. Toys can't talk. Toys can't talk. <laughs> you can only do so much with a toy. You can only can't do so much you. with a toy. Can't kiss you unless you kiss the motherfucker. Oh, excuse me, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Oh, but oh, be before we uh, talk about your boy, I want to say something else about Candy. Uh, Candy Fan, you know, I understand um, you want to do music and you want to do all kinds of music. But when your manager was coming to you tonight trying to let you know you keep doing all this free work, unnecessary work, you know, uh, Lawrence, you know, he wasn't a big hit. He really can't oh, dress at Lawrence, times. Oh, Lawrence, poor Lawrence. That outfit he had on was too many. With that mohawk. We had a mohawk and he had on some thigh limp boots and some other little bullshit. He looked like a uh, this is too he much. looked like he should have been in the circus. Yeah, he's too Riding much. Riding on hard. Keep it foxy. Tonight he looked better. But yeah, the other stuff like he that. had, you know, he I wasn't too. with it. You know, no. but uh, Candy, you need to go back to your roots. Your manager's trying to tell you that, and you over here trying to say country, wasting more money. Yeah, I understand that you're a good singer, and I understand like you it. like country. I like I like <laughs> country too, but you don't see me out here trying to be the next Dolly Parton when I'm sitting over her blackest day when I need I, to be doing Billie Holiday. Yeah. I think you need to make some more soulful music. You know, show us what you're all about. You know, dig That's deeper. Why, yeah, Come a little bit soulful. Sister. And I think your albums will say. you help Kim get her $80,000. Where get you yours. You get a chip. So, and then your little album came out and you didn't even make $80,000. So keep making your music. I think you should, you know, yeah. work on you some more. Right. So, but, I, you know. But uh, and, but I enjoyed your birthday up? party, and honey, oh, that stripper, Lord. you said you felt that he should have came out ridiculous. Oh, that was ridiculous. ridiculous. I love um, it. A man that can suck his own penis. Yeah. I wouldn't sleep with him, but I would have loved to see it because that's one something I wouldn't have You didn't see him when he went down there like that? I mean, I would have liked for him to come to my house and actually, I would have mind seeing that live. Yeah, he was, he you was at so the much. wrong place doing what he did. Yeah, because, you know, Miss Cece and I, we was kind of at war with it a little bit. She's like, she felt that mm -hmm. wasn't the time or place. No. But I felt that Candy's, well, you know, what Candy do for a living, you yeah, knew right. somebody would have brought her a stripper. But not like it. Maybe they should have pulled, they should have pulled her aside with her girlfriends and showed her Mr. Ridiculous because people were standing around like Peter a and everybody else, a lot of other men. And her mother. And her mother. And her, and mother. Her, mother. And her mama took the okay, really upset. Okay, but guess what? I'm like her mother. Paige's mother wasn't there. She wouldn't have pulled out no stripper with her mother going to be there. Okay. Yeah, probably wasn't. You know she wouldn't have. She probably wouldn't, but she should at least took her in the back room to show her Mrs. She should have waited till it was a girl's night out. Yes. A little yes. girly thing like they do. And I love you, Miss Phaedra, because I'm so glad you didn't bring no women strippers. I'm tired of famous people for girls getting well, women strippers. I like the male strippers. Hey, I liked it, you know, so, yeah. I have, but yeah. the male strippers have them again. And can't nobody really <laughs> say nothing about, you know, her being her mama being upset because, no. like I said, <clears throat> be honest with you, no disrespect. But her mama know her, you know, I think she knows. She said her mama don't know. Then she sells sex toys. She's getting ready So, to. yeah, getting ready to. They already in the making. Talking about getting penises. That, I ain't uh, never seen no sex toys like she's supposed to be selling. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker shaped like a fork. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Look like something you're supposed to attach to the bottom of your sink. You know, I don't know what she's doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's sitting over here shopping at uh, Home Depot for sex toys. Ooh, Lord, so she Lord, must Lord. need some deep, deep work. With music. With, with her song in it. <laughs> Let Just me know that. when you want to. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Now what the hell you gonna do with a, with that shit set? What, what are you gonna put it at? Ain't gonna oh, up your butt or uh, up your vagina? Or, I don't even want to begin to figure it out. Up? But, honey, she's sitting up at night doing that candy colors night. And when she told that girl that I could ask her anything, and the girl turned back and told her that she heard that she was a big mama, she couldn't take it. So, no. all I got to say, Candy, if you can't dish it, 
then you ought to be able to take you it. You ought to be able to take it. Because it wasn't none of your business to begin with how home girl got It's making her money. money because she you know what? She's, she's black, black she's a woman, and she's paid. You should think about that. Exactly. Y'all should be getting it together because you selling dick. Well, she might be sucking dick, you selling dick. Everybody right. got a little dick got that they are dealing with. So, mm. and you a freak anyway, so. Mm. Mm. And she's way right trying to play like she's a freak. She way right don't know what the hell she is. <laughs> so, uh, she don't know if she won't be one or buy one. I don't know, but it's going to be crazy this season. So, I will be stepping, sticking by, watching Ooh. watching every minute of it. And y'all know, Miss Cece's going to be watching oh, every minute of Lord it. Because we are on the edge of the couch. And honey, we cannot take it, honey. So, so okay, I just can't wait to de- get this uh, palace bill for sure. Yeah. And the contractor said, money, money, money. He won't and you know what? Money. Her name was waiting. Mm-hmm. Phaedra was still waiting on her to send her some money for that Lauraism stuff, for the law work that she's done for. But I, you know, yeah, I thought her boyfriend was going to, her baby daddy was going to pay for it. But I guess when he sued her for that furniture, <laughs> uh, uh, I didn't have loyal fees, so I guess you're gonna have to give her a love seat or a couch or something at her house. Yeah, so Phaedra can start the procedure. But I bet he's living very well. He's just faking. Yeah, he's just he's living greatly. Faking. He's living greatly. He's, he, he ain't, he ain't and she gonna no try more. to talk about Fe- uh, Phaedra stuff about her law, how she's an attorney, how she don't think she's a great attorney. But I'm gonna tell you something. Phaedra told you to get it before he got you, and he right. served you beforehand. She tried to get you to jump on right. it first. And you didn't so know. it looks like I it was something, you know. Go to jail. Who cared? Who he didn't care about you going to jail. Yeah. Now you own her for a stolen furniture. Nah. Ain't that it? Yeah. yeah. That's what she so she got to cry for. She got to go to jail for stolen furniture. Mm-hmm. That she had in the crib. But actually... If he's any kind of man, he wouldn't care about no furniture because his kids got to lay down. And that's why he said that it should offset the uh, child support. Because well, the furniture they, is they ain't too But again, enough. you don't know how we live and die. We, we don't have about no furniture. You better take care of your kids. Hey, guess what? It's been some time the kids ain't too growing. No, they not. <laughs> not wearing a size 14, 15 shoes. She said her child wearing. That's where he wear. Mm-hmm. He's what, 15? Big boy, ain't he? He's going to be tight. His daddy's big. And husband. Mm-hmm. Which brain we said big and ugly. Why did that make me think of McGill the real? <laughs> the mole lady. Oh love it here, my baby. Oh, what's in here for me? Oh my god, Chrissy. Christy, oh. Chrissy. Look, I don't want you coming over trying to um fight me. Well, guess That's what? why I didn't come I to go you see your what? man. Because Chrissy. I wasn't gonna fight you to go see that boy because y'all try to come here to Lord. Well guess what? I don't give a care. Bring your monkey ass home up in here. Because Louisville, Kentucky don't play when it comes to a concert. If the shit ain't right, then they're going to boo your ass off the stage. Anyway, but I'm a fan of night. Jim Jones, and I wasn't getting ready to sit up there and try to fight Chrissy and her crazy ass just to see him and get an interview. I did not feel like fighting that more on her face. But nah, I'm going to tell you something. That's a book. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, you know, it's her other personality. That big you know, old booger laying up there. She, I'm gonna tell you what made me mad she about her. She think it's a beauty mark. That's an ugly mark. Okay, she, <laughs> he had to give her a job over the t-shirts. So he gave her a little job. Her then, and her t-shirt. mama, yeah. His mother. Yeah, but she also is doing his clothing Side line too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, why she and they're supposed to be she... making up. He's supposed to be making up with Jim Jones's mom or whatnot. And as soon as you get up, you tell her that psychotic is spelled wrong. And even though she it's ordered ten matter. million T-shirts of psychotic, I'll buy one. You know, she made a uh, lemon. She made lemonade out of lemons because you know she was like, "Well, that's just gonna be a new word. That's what I'm gonna make it in." And yes, I ordered ten thousand. But so I'm gonna tell what? you something, Chrissy. If you really cared about that lady, you kind of would have let that kind of go because you came there to get an apology or whatever. And she gave it to, and you. She gave it to you, and you still kind of left that kind of coffee. That's your old man's mama, and until you learn to get along with her, whether we like her or not, I like her, Nancy. Yeah, yeah, I like her too. But what I'm saying, whether you like her or not, sometimes it's best to turn your nose, even turn the other chick. You know, but, you know, she's too old. She's set in her way. Is that why she beat that girl up? Well, that's a different situation. She stole that girl. <laughs> she beat that girl's ass. But guess what? She drug her down, she <laughs> mauled on her as if she was talking about her nigga. Like she said she was thinking with Jim Jones, honey. 
And she and found even the cameraman fact. had to try to pull out from her. I think she started beating, fighting the cameraman. Look, that wasn't even her <laughs> fact. That wasn't none of her business. None of her business. None of none. She going around kicking ass. She beat that girl up so bad. And the girl got a good kick. And you know what? And that girl her. still came to her and said, let's squash it. Come to my the little girl party. The girl said, Yes, she did. And she's wiping I'm her black quit. ass. And she wiping her black ass. Yes, okay. But, uh. I got to say is, you know, because we don't have a whole lot of time left, but I wanted to say, you know, when when you go, you knew when you was going to that girl's party because she tried to apologize about you to that party, you knew mm -hmm. that it was going to be some things going on. When you got there, instead of you being, you should have came because you knew it was hers. And if you weren't going to mess with her like that, then you should have came it out. But right. you came and tried to spoil the party. I really mm -hmm. did not appreciate that because you should have kept your ass there. And when you told that girl you did not want to talk about it no more, you should have left it at that. Instead, right. you went back to the other girls and patronized them for just trying to squash things. Right. You know, I, you can't. I don't think everybody want to like be you. miserable. No, just like you. You just mad called Jim Jones on. Ain't marry your ass. ass. And guess what? How you gonna pay? He thousand? ain't gonna marry you. He paid thousands of dollars for an engagement ring, and he lost it. Sure did. That should tell you something. Then they had to go back and get something. Let's tell you something. So quit attacking all your friends because Jim Jones uh, ain't asked you to marry him. Right. You know? Just be grateful but for what you got. And do you, if you got to make him do all that, do you really want him like that? Mm -hmm. Just, you know, roll with what you got. Happy. It won't be. They won't be a happy couple. It sure will. So just roll with what you got. That's right. Uh, To Olivia. Girl, oh, bless, her bless your heart. Quit hating on Kamara or whatever name is. Yeah. yeah, she Kamara. tried to give you a uh, welcoming piece or whatever yeah, with to fix it. Ass she, she you did. know, <laughs> she and you, you know, she did make you relevant for a second because I forgot about you. She, she made her purse. She, she showed that with her face on, on it. Keep right. stepping on your face because she need to pick that. it up. She made her drop her face and then she got to pick right. it up because she stepped on her face. Because the producer is after her and not after you. That's what it is. I think she's kind of jealous a little bit because Olivia, even though you had these three contracts, even your own guy that was for you, he slightly ain't with you no more. You notice that right. the producer really don't want to deal mm -hmm. with her for real no more? You know, um, you need to make more music. What happened yeah. to November, September, October? Nah. You got December. Where's the other month? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where's winter, spring, summer, and fall? That's all we saying. Keep at it, baby. Just keep at it. And, and you know, hopefully you'll hey, get your dream. Chrissy, you gonna be fighting over somebody else's business. She can't help it cause her man. You should let her, her fight her own back. Right. Her man left her for another woman. You know that's right. That, that ain't right. And that, a woman that got more going right. for her than she did. That's crazy. Man, ain't that it? Ain't that. So you was mad. You another nosy effort. You all up in somebody else's beeswax. So calm down. Get on up out mm -hmm. of there. And congratulations to, to the, uh, what's that little, uh, Ooh. shirt, uh, shit. Oh Shakana, Sharia, whatever the other girl is, a little light skinned chick that sang. The Puerto Rican. The little Puerto Rican chick that sang. Tamara. Sh no, is it Tamara? Yeah, it's Tamara. It's with an S. Samaya. Samaya, yeah. She's a Samaya. Very woman. Yeah. Somalia, or whatever they call you, girl. <laughs> we got you know who we talking about, honey. You know. You did a good job on, on the thing. You, you did. Even if your britches did. Even bro, if your drawers were showing, you kept on uh, performing. The show I seen you on. from sleeping up in the attic to getting your apartment, and I'm right. proud of you, girl. That's it. You so, go, girl. You go, girl. You go. I, yeah, I'm liking the kind of lady you that you're turning out Chris to be. She talked to smack, but she didn't jump She didn't up step to you oh, like that. No, no, so, no, you, no, no, you're no. a bad bitch. But oh, she didn't step to you no. like that. You held she your tried. ground. She tried. Mm. She wouldn't let Jim Jones help you, girl. But she tried. But she sure her. did. Uh -uh. She she don't fool with that Puerto Rican chick. Mm -hmm. That's just like fooling with another ghetto black girl. And do you feel, <laughs> come, come think about it, you're right about that, but do you feel uh, his manager, Jim Jones' manager? The girl? Yeah. Was she, was she out of order? When Chrissy was upset with her for dancing that, to I that am, song, when she told her, no, she heard it. Cause you know. I like the song myself. I got them dance too. <laughs> but she wasn't she dancing said, to Olivia yeah. stuff, so I could see where she kind of felt like you know it was to her, cause she wasn't dancing not to Olivia, uh, no, to no, Somalia's no. music. She wasn't dancing to Somalia's music, but when but she liked Mama, Somalia's uh, music, <laughs> she did. She liked it, but she wasn't dancing. 
Now I'm going, Mama, Mama Jones had to yeah. go on. Respect you know, me. So I am the M-O-T-A. Yeah. yeah. So, you and know. I'm psychotic. She's psychotic. She's psychotic, bitch. <laughs> you know? But uh, Chrissy really took it personal. I think Chrissy kind of blew it out of proportion. Because yep. every time Chrissy get mad at somebody, Jim Jones get mad. Everybody, you know, I notice he does that. She, makes she gets miserable. mad when you get mad. So, look, manager, sometimes it's best to keep your business business and your right. personal exactly. personal. Right. You need to stop that. Because she won't be talking to you like that if you didn't allow her so much well, in your business. Well, she got mad because she said that. That Jim Jones was money, and he is her money. He, that's a He's her manager. And every, but she was right. in her personal business, and you need not to let people in your personal business and get into their personal business. Leave right. them as that's clients, and you won't have that problem. That's it. Well, we are running out of time, so we would love to say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Baby. Happy holidays. Hey, and I'm having hey, a birthday. I was going to say her yeah. birthday is coming up New Year's hey. Eve. It will be Miss Cece's birthday. And yes, we will see her. And, and party for that day. I'll be sweet 16 and never been kissed. <laughs> so, y'all be sure to send Miss Cece a happy birthday because I sure will be yeah. reading it out to her. Well, and I will be Christmas taking dolls. pictures. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and, a happy, and a happy New Year. Year. Mm -hmm. Hey. And Miss CC, thank <laughs> you. I love you so much. I really, Give really me do. Give a little hug. Give a good friend. All right, you know. Hey, what can I say? You're a damn old good friend. I love you. And I've been I'm so glad. Since December 1st. <laughs> yes, she has my birthday. And I just really appreciate you taking time out to do the show. <laughs> and we've been good friends now for a couple years now. Yeah. And I'm glad I'm able to, you know, experience this and enjoy and well, celebrate your birthday with you and we love you and i and love so, y'all more you. so hey watch this show so i can get a fat yeah. check so i can help pay the lady okay. i need to pay the lady <laughs> you know so <laughs> i ain't <accept> some chicks <laughs> yeah, that's what's up so until next time go day, watch this that's right in the way. go <laughs> still so we got i gotta pay the lady you know, somebody got to watch these shows when I'm busy doing my life. <laughs> <laughs> so it's sending something. So don't forget to tell a friend and tell a mama, tell a brother, tell a daddy to subscribe to Life with Cousin Patches. Hey. Happy Merry Christmas. Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs>